welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happens YouTube Atheist Community and Stickham. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, debate night fun. And, uh, so yeah, it was a little better last week. Moved along a little better. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, so I really should just extract all the good parts out of the MP3, but who wants to go through eight hour MP3? You know, that's what it turned into. So anyway, link below if you're interested or want to just jump through it or whatever. Um, you might hear an interesting bit, who knows, and that's sort of how the nights go, you know, there's interesting bits, and then there's useless bits, and then there's interesting bits. I mean, just, it's, you know, I, you know, I, I wish I could get more performance out of this whole interaction thing, it just does seem a little stale sometimes, so just listen to the Magic Sandwich show, and, um, you know, on Blog TV, and yeah, it was just, you know, they're just talking to some creationist chick, and she was just, you know, uh, you know, I mean, her, her theism is not professional, <laughs> and, and so there's no point in arguing with a total non-professional theist, and, you know, someone who really doesn't know their shit, and she just, you know, it's, it's just no point, uh, you know, it's not a logical argument, it's just the argument from, you know, it makes me feel good, or I have a feeling about it, or some kind of crap like that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. That's a separate subject entirely, mostly. Um, so I, I don't think there's anything outstanding to report from Stickham. Um, you know, a new guy, wayward something or other, showed up. And, uh, you know, interesting fellow. So, yeah, we're, you know, can't invest in things too soon. You know, the old heroin church example. You, gotta be, you always got to be a little, got to be just a little bit skeptical of, of um, you know, people until you see where they settle, see so see how consistent they are, how solid and founded and rational and reasonable they stay, and that kind of stuff. You just can't tell, you know. They like jerk in the boxes. All of a sudden, they do something completely, you know. And you're like, holy shit, where'd that come from? Anyway, that's really not the point either. What is the point? Yeah, that's the trick of it. So, anyway, a lot of videos this week. Um, you know, we'll go through them real quick and, you know. I have worked on these toolbar things and they've gotten pretty good. I actually have one for subscriptions now, you know. So, I just hit the bookmark on my taskbar there. And it should pop up over here. And um, it's got what comes in my subscription box um, listed here. And, uh, you know, I'm fix the text a little bit so it's a little more... Um, hey, that's not the right thing. I must have hit the wrong button. It doesn't matter. It's one of these boxes anyway. But this idea of the, um, um, you know, the subscription, which I don't think I'm subscribed, but to be serious, I don't think so. And now, yeah, Ludite's in there. Oh, yeah, I don't know, there's, there's other videos, of the only place they would show up. So, yeah, maybe it is my subscription box. I don't know, my subscription box wouldn't have my videos in it, though. Yeah, so, it's a different box. Well, anyway, I'll hit, so, let me go and try it again. Yeah, it's the same one. All right, well, it anyway, doesn't really matter. Probably. Oh, here, my subscription box is here. You know, so this can't be my subscription box. All right, now I've really wasted your time. Sorry about that. So I'll close that. Yeah, this one is actually on the website. It's my subscriptions. So, yeah, they're right there. So, I mean, if I close, well, technically, this one should be... Oh, I guess it's K. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, the M is the new one. Oh, my mistake. So I could close this, and if I hit the, the K one over here, that should pop up the subscription box. No? <laughs> yeah, I didn't hit K. I hit M again, I guess. All right. I'll do it one more time just to prove that, okay, I'm not totally insane. Maybe. There. See? Now it popped in the right place. Okay. So that's my subscription. So anyway, my point is, is if you have a subscription box that's uh, reasonable, you know, you don't, you're not subscribed to a bunch of news sites or some other shit that just spams the hell out of your box, and you're willing to just run this thing on your page, I mean, all you have to do is run this little, you know, you just run a page like this one here, I think it's mine. Yeah, so I mean, the little thing will run over here on the side, and this thing will do its thing, so you just run it in the background, and it will monitor your subscription box. And, um, so if you're willing to do that, and, you know, put it in the same index with mine, and, you know, you won't have any redundancies. If people were subscribed to the same people, they won't show up twice and all that stuff. It should work. 
it might be interesting to con you know to consolidate our subscriptions into one index. So uh, yeah, it just might be interesting. All right, wrong way around, really. Oh, I'm just uh, you know overtired, don't feel very well, blah blah blah. Complain, complain. Uh, so anyway. All right, science and is to business of the homology. So I did the response video to Anna Kanavad. These are these are all pretty good videos, actually. I did a Vagodome video on ephalism and in value. Did the preliminary videos. Those are pretty good, I think. Web search tool. So this is a little bit about that indexing thing, which I think is a you know these are pretty cool. These are getting there. Um, Vagodome. Um, oh yeah, that was another version on the what's wrong with the internet thing. Uh, intuition. I think this is a good. This is a good video. This intuition, just a crude starting point. I think it's a good response to the whole philosophy that uh, you know all of our all of our values are somehow subjective when I don't think they are. We do do logic. We are filtered by logic, and and uh, that does change the the story. Um, you know, response video is snake pliskiness, I guess. Uh, Google sucks in the comments. I did the comments in some video, I suppose. And, um, you know, a little bit of Google sucking just about the fact that, yeah, nothing, stuff doesn't come up in the indexes quite right at all. I mean, some people's videos Google indexes horribly. Um, one of the victims is Antikantavad. I mean, his videos don't show up on a search term on his own name at all. Um, mine have gotten better. The last two videos got indexed right, but the, the snake videos didn't get indexed right at all. Um, I mean, it's just so inconsistent. Some people show up in my subscription box, and then they don't show up in, on search terms. I mean, I, you know, it's been quite revealing running these indexes, just seeing how inconsistent YouTube is in providing access to people's content. It's totally unreliable. You just can't. You can't depend on your script subscription box. You can't depend on um, the search results. This Ray Chow Cho video didn't show up for four or five days under his own name. I mean, it's just idiotic. Um, it's just just really bad. This is that this is the internet we're on because it's uh, shit. Internet. Uh, anyway. So I did that video, and then I did three of these short videos, and I'll do a couple more and answer them in the contest, in the lower layless contest, link below, I think. And, um, you know, a couple days left to enter, and so I'll put maybe three or four of the one-minute ones together and enter that. I entered this one, but I'll enter the others as a combination. So I did a few of these short videos. I think it's a good idea. I'll try to do more of that stuff. Um, maybe that'll be my future I mean, I'm kind of trying to consolidate into just arguing these specific Vlogger Dome subjects. It's not a Vlogger Dome video here, but um, you can sort of see the difference. The different back. I gotta make a darker background or something. But anyway, um, you know, the Vlogger Dome videos are where I'm trying to head. Um, you know, Vlogger Dome. Let me just do the index real quick. Uh, you know, these. I think there's 12 subjects, or 11 subjects now, but I'll add some more, a couple more maybe. Huh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on that, okay, that's, one that needs to be slid over or something. One, one must be a redundancy, there's got to be something wrong here. Well, anyway, I'll fix that, so. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of work, I mean, I'm just doing way too many things, so I can't do anything well. I have to do everything shitty, because I'm doing way too many things. But anyway, you know, and some guy makes a comment because that that very hot chick is a SEO person that I'm supposed to rag on her about it. I would rag on her about it if I ever have opportunity to have a subject about it. But the fact is, too, is people living in third world countries, I don't blame them for making money any way they can. I'm just saying that SEO is inherently problematic. I mean, it's a character issue. It doesn't change the fact that she's a hot chick, though. <laughs> you know... And I just bet she does it. She does. She does. Probably does it on as honestly as possible, or something, because she's just too pretty not to not to be. You know, she's too pretty to be evil, and she's too smart to be evil. So she's kind of, she can't be evil. But you're probably evil. You know, if you're doing SEO on the internet. You're probably evil. Anyway, now that's all another side subject. So anyway, this is where I wanted to focus my attention. Is these these are like the primary subjects of of 
even when the subject is called context, but this is the context of existence, is right in those subjects. That's the game. The game is to be played in those subjects. Oh, anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, I did the f free will video. I guess I'll do a response video to the comments on that page, because the comments are kind of funny. Um, I mean, people are just saying, well, let's not say there's no free will, because that somehow tells people they don't have to be accountable, and that's just nonsense. It doesn't matter whether you're innocent in terms of your crime if you're a criminal. You're broken, you're broken. You're going to have to pay the price because we have to have something called deterrence. But, yeah, there's no there's no denying that the fact that this punishment is stupid in a way. Right, you're just going to, you know, beat people until they say, uncle? I mean, obviously, there's just no sense to it. I mean, you can't undo the damage people do by punishing the guy who did the damage. It just doesn't do it. You can't fix what's broken by breaking some more shit. So... But the, the fact that deterrence has to exist, that you have to deter in other people, you have to create a mindset inside of them that says, I won't do this because I'll get punished, well, that's kind of obvious. So it doesn't change the, the fact that we will punish people for bad behavior, but we just admit that we're punishing them to prevent behavior. We're not punishing them because we think punishing them will fix the problem, because it won't. You know, when we prevent more problem. So that's why you punish them. As soon as deterrence doesn't work, then you stop fucking imprisoning people. I mean, there's no point in doing it if it doesn't work. And the fact, truth is, it does work, though. It scares me. I mean, the law does scare me. The fact that I can't... I would be doing certain things. If it was legal to do them, I'd do them. It just would. You know, so the law does intimidate me and prevent me from behaving in certain ways. So, it's not about getting rid of law. It's not about getting rid of punishment. It's just about admitting the truth. And even if, even if it was the other way around, even if the the truth meant that people would um, contrive excuses for behavior, even if that was true, it's still the truth. The fact that you don't have a free will is just a fact. And to say that we all should lie about it for some social reason, that's bullshit. So I say fuck that. That's what I say. Well, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Ugh. Anyway, anyway uh, so yeah, Piro sucks. The Piro, well, the three will video. Yeah, I'll do the comments on that because they're weird comments. Um, but anyway, um, so I did a Piro sucks video. You know, three or four sucks videos here. Um, you know, but it's just this whole stupid microorganism conversation is just idiotic. It's just such a waste of fucking neurology. Anyway, um, life is an imposition. Is life an imposition? I don't remember who that. I guess it has to be Ludite or somebody. Or uh, that looks like Anna Contavod. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't know who the hell it was. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, that is a Ludite video. Yeah, he made a snarky, idiotic video. It's a pretty good response video, I think. Um, destination of a good life. That's a yeah, short video. Short video on drawing straws. So those are kind of interesting. To you know, I'll get better at that narrating videos thing short and sweet and all that kind of crap and then there's you know short and sweet and then eight hours of stick ham eight hours uh, so anyway big monstrous mp3 file 100 megabytes it's you know it's huge anyway um that's you know compressed and everything um so what else do i have to um deal with here anything else important back to the index and update it. see what, what news happened while I was gone. Let's see. Great text. Great text. Oh, three great text videos. Vegetarian seems like the issue. Let them eat horse. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I watched these two already. Oh, I guess I'll respond to this anti-nihilism one, but it was, it's not a real argument. It's just the same old... I saw a movie and anti-nihilists are creepy in the movie there. No real point. And such. Hey, there's an old fan video. Yay. She did something. Uh oh. Um, and, uh, yeah, just whatever content. It seems like there's something. I'm, I'm just pausing a little bit, but there seems like there's something I should get to. I really want to do something to promote, too. The, you know, the gray videos. I mean, these videos are really, you know, they're really good videos. And the other guy who's making them now, too, the, um, 
So when you have a kid, you are really going to impose though. death on it. That will be the outcome of its yeah. life. It will die. I mean, you know, these are really good videos for 231 views. It's just, you know, they should, you know, it just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> yeah, it's just not, it's not fair. Yeah, there's this Crown Jewels guy. He's got some, he's made a good one too. I mean, I like those videos. I mean, not just because they're my voice narrating them, but, you know, they're good videos. Even, you know, it doesn't matter. Somebody else could be reading it. And it would, it's, they're good videos. And just, you know, stuff really should be seen by more people. But whatever. Uh, I can't fix that today. Yeah, I don't know how to fix it either. I just don't, I don't know what you do to, you know. We'll see what happens. Maybe if I make more one-minute videos... That will be somehow compelling. I don't, I'll do some, I don't know. I don't know what it will do. I don't know. I just... I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, yeah, is there anything else I have to report? Seems like I said there really does seem like there should be. I mean, the other thing about the tools, I mean, I showed that in the video, but you can do this select text thing. You know. Yeah, and so um, I could select text and then just open one of these toolbar things. And, uh, you know, it opens up and then it jumps to a search at DuckDuckGo. And so it found no results. No safe search results. That's pretty funny. Safe search is on. Well, I guess I'll have to turn that off. Why would, well, I guess the default is on, so what, they don't tell you how to turn it off, do they? Oh, here we go, on. Okay, no, thank you. I don't want to be, don't want to be safe. Meanings. For ambiguous terms, ask you to choose which meaning is right. Eh, I don't know. I'll leave it on. I'll leave the rest of this stuff on. New window. Uh, off. Opens results in a new window. I don't know, that might be worth it. And, uh, you know, just... I don't need icons. There we go. So there, I updated my settings. I gotta, I gotta fix them. Bookmarklet, the settings data. Um, I don't know. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right there. I, I did it. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't want to do this bookmark thing. Come on. It's too much work. You can't remember it in cookies? Oh, save settings. Here it is down here. Okay, there we go. Uh, your settings anonymously in the cloud. I don't know what that means. Uh, way, way too much. I don't want to do this phrase stuff. Passphrase. I don't know. Passphrase. Screw you. Fuck you in the head. Ugh, nine characters. Oh, you know, I mean, why is everything... I, I mean, I'm just saving my stupid settings, you stupid fucking cunts. Man. You know, Jesus. I think they got to keep making everything more complicated than necessary. What do you mean it's too short? It's more than nine characters, you cunts. It's not, it's not too short. I gotta give a fuck about these stupid settings, you fucking idiots. Anyway, so there, strike against them for that. And then they don't even give you your search. So they change your settings and they don't get let you put you they don't even put you back to your search. Stupid. Anyway, no quick complaining. Oh, sorry, you're still there? Sorry. <laughs> I really do feel Alright, anyway, so until next time.